What's going on guys, Windy City Bassin here. We are in my basement in my workshop today. It is snowing, we got a blizzard going on out there. I actually tried to go fishing earlier today and man, terrible idea. Wanted to go out to the river, river was way more frozen up than I thought. So, just so happens that I got a bunch of stuff in the mail. So today we're gonna be doing not just one, not just two, three, but four unboxings. I, I have mixed feelings about unboxing videos, I really do. I, I use unboxing videos to see what other people are using, what maybe something that I'm not aware of that I should be throwing. So, another piece to this video will be the December MTB Pro unboxing. And I got this at the same date that I got three Catchco boxes. So I took part in their Black Friday sales. See if I can find some great deals, and I, I think I did. I mean, I really think I got some phenomenal deals. So we'll go through those as well. So let's start out with the good old MTB Pro box. I have not opened this yet. This is the first time I'm looking at it right now. So let's take a look here. Let's grab the scissors, check it out. It's like they read my mind. I've literally been searching online for this stuff today. I mean, so as usual, we got the, the card right here. There it is. Number one, let's start out with this. Live Target Sunfish. So, there it is. You guys have probably seen these before. I think I have one. I have a bigger one than this one though. This looks like the smaller kind. Obviously I'm not gonna be throwing this. It's the middle of the winter right now. I can't throw anything right now. This will be perfect for next year. I heard a lot of good reviews on these. I actually did not catch one fish on one of these this year, but that's because I really didn't fish it enough. I kind of settled into my favorite frog and stuck with it. So $13.49 I think is the, the value on this card. Yeah, $13.49. So bait number one. We got a Crankbait, suspending crankbait. Let's see if it'll focus. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. So we got a suspending crankbait. Looks like a medium diver, three to six feet, but it's suspending. I like the color too. It's got a orange belly, green back. This is by Baker Lures. Haven't used them before. Willing to give it a try. Should be good. I mean, medium diving crankbait is always, always, should always be in your arsenal. Number three, and this is why I laugh when I immediately open the box is big old swim bait. Okay, so this is the Boom Boom Swim Bait by Optimum Baits. According to this, it's got a panicked action. It's got a giant paddle tail. Let's take this out of the box. I was literally looking at HUDs today. Why, I don't know, it's the middle of winter. Ooh, all right, so I like, I like the action. This looks like maybe a six inch, and uh, it's a good color. Next year, my goal is to actually try throwing around some big swim baits. I, that's why I was looking at HUDs earlier today. I want to give it a shot. Bait number three, that normally retails for $5.50. That's actually a really good deal. Uh, let's see, bait number four, Lake Lunkers Twin Tail Grubs. Let's see if you can see that. It's kind of like a chartreuse color. It looks like these old like Mr. Twister Twin Tails I used to use back in the day. These go good on like spinnerbait trailers, chatterbait trailer or something like that. Give off a little bit of action and that chartreuse color is gonna kind of reflect in the water. I love throwing like a something like this on a white spinnerbait, especially in lakes where you've got you're, you're trying to imitate a shad pattern or something like that. Those normally retail for three nineteen. Bait number four. V and M. And seen shad. This is well. Okay, so. Sorry, caught me off guard. I actually have a different bait than what the card says. I'm supposed to be getting the V and M insane shad, and instead I got these Mismo shad like swim baits. Let's see if we can see these. So I mean, they just look like normal swim baits. You know, I actually really like these. I don't know what the uh, insane shad is, but these will work out really well. Um, I love throwing something like this uh, as a spinnerbait trailer. <laughs> That gives a good thump in the water. Um, if you want more thump than a chatterbait, this is another great option. So I guess the Insane Shad was $3.99. I'm gonna guess these are something around there, but cool little bait. So we've got some big, big swim bait hooks. These are some Mustad 9 knot weighted swim bait hooks. You know, you can see that's a pretty good chunk of lead on the bottom of that hook. This has got a screw lock on the, on the top for uh, screwing into that front of the bait. Got a new sticker here. This is the first one I've gotten, but there's the Catchco logo. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I like it. Lastly, we've got the, uh, the uh, of course, the Dibble Digest. 
So there's some good articles in here too. So I don't know, what do we got here for a total? Um, I'm probably gonna fast forward through this because it's gonna take me long to add this up. Okay, so after a long um, struggled session adding things up, I got $39. That's what approximately the total of all this is. I'm off by, you know, some pennies or something like that, but not bad for a $25 box. The goal is I'm gonna accumulate some new lures over the winter, get set for spring, and I can't wait. Cannot wait to get back out there. I'm already itching for spring. I got a long way to go. Let's move on. Let's quickly do some of these uh, catch go boxes. So these were new. They were target specific boxes. They were aimed towards a certain type of fishing. They were on heavy discounts on Black Friday. And there were three that really caught my eye and I knew instantly from knowing what baits were in them that the value was there. It was just too good of a deal to pass up on. And some of these were like $15 and I know there's $40 worth of baits. Had to do it. So let's do number one here. I do not know which one this is. All right, so there we go. Shred. All right, ooh, okay. This is the Pond Hopper. See that, Pond Hopper. And actually they do include a nice little card, which is perfect. So first off, great bait, love this one. This is not at the top of my list, but it's probably number two uh, for hollow body frogs. I got the live target. You should all know this, if you frog fish, if you frogfish, you, you should know the live target frog. It's got some really strong hooks. It seems to hold up really well. It doesn't take on water too much. I trimmed down the legs. I think everyone should for the most part. That retails for $11.99 and it is all of $11.99. Number two, Mega Strike Strike Back Spinnerbait. There you go. Retails for $8.99. I see something right away that if you can see this here, right here, the head of the bait, it looks like it's the, the hook is free swinging from the head. So immediately what I see in that is, you know, one of these things is when you've got all the weight of all the blades and everything and a fish is jumping, throwing their head around, they can throw a spinner bait. They'll throw it every once in a while because the weight is just using, like acting as a pendulum going against, I hope that's the right word, pendulum. I don't know, maybe. I hope you know what I mean. It's going against the motion of the fish and it will toss the hook. So if the hook is free swinging from the head and the weight of the bait, the fish isn't able to create that momentum to throw the bait. So, awesome. Can't wait to throw that. Chartreuse is a great color. Number three, everyone should also know, oh, know this one. This is a striking red eye shad. And it is in like a sexy shad. Yeah, clear go sexy shad color. So red eye shad obviously has got good rattles. This is pretty much my go-to lipless crankbait for the most part. More fish are gonna go after the smaller size. So great bait, uh, that retails for $6.39. This is another one of my favorite baits. Outside of a Senko, Biospawn, these Exo Sticks, they're phenomenal, I love them. I mean, I really, 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 really like them. I can't say really enough. If you're looking to get into the stick bait game, whether it's Wacky Rig, or Texas Rig, or Weightless, or Nico Rig, whatever you wanna use, this should be one of your baits, along with the good old Senko. Now this color here, candy, and I see like some purple and green flake, it's kind of a light green color, I don't know if you could see that. It's a perfect color, clear water, I'll throw this all day long. These retail for $5.99. I've got a bunch of them in my box. Um, they're a great bait. Lastly, these Skinny Bear Drop Shot slash Wacky Rig hooks. These are a little big for a drop shot hook for me. I like a smaller drop shot hook, but these would be perfect for a Wacky Rig. So these are a one out. That is that box, and let's see, that is 21, about $40 worth of lures, and I'm pretty sure, and I, I don't have, I wish I had my receipt for this one, but I'm pretty sure this box cost me about $15. Yeah, I saw the value immediately right there. It was a no-brainer. All right, catch go box number two. No shred in this one. Four baits, that's it. Come on, focus. Ish's favorites. Okay, Ish Monroe, great frog fisherman. Everyone knows him for that. Frog fishing is one of my favorite things to do. Naturally, what's in here 
is a frog. We got the Bully Wah. I don't have any of these, so I'm willing to give it a shot. I always love trying new frogs. This normal retail is for $10.49. I cannot wait till next summer. Um, number two, River to Sea Bling. Okay, again, we're going back to the spinnerbaits. This is a big old spinnerbait. Another chartreuse, gold blades. This is a pretty thick gold blade, too. There we go. It's a pretty big, thick blade. So this is a half ounce. So this is, it's got some beef to it. This is, the other one that I got was a 3 8 ounce. This is a half ounce. This normally retails for $8.91. Yes, $8.91. I don't know how they came up with $91, but that's a, it's an interesting number. Number three, the biggie. Crankbait. Come on, man. This is the... Biggie Papa Bumpin, which means it's a fast floater. Let's see. You hear that? Heavy rattles, not light rattles. This is this has got some big old rattle to it. In bluegill color, which is perfect for my lakes around here. It's a square bill crankbait. I don't know why I didn't see that to begin with. So I'm gonna guess it's gonna be that one to four foot range. Bump this off some rocks. Again, that bluegill color, trying to incite a reaction bite. And lastly, this is something you everyone should need, should have some good old hooks in their box for some good old flipping hooks. These are some heavy duty flipping hooks. These are six out. So these are big old hooks. And this is for putting on that big creature bait, flipping it into those pads those reeds, whatever that is. Oh, and, and it's got that extra hook in the back. All right, so it's got the extra hook in the back. That extra hook is so instead of snelling a hook, you can use that to really get that good hook set. So the, the hook doesn't tilt on you. You know, normally when you're flipping, you're gonna snell that hook, try to get a good hook set so that hook pulls straight. In this case, they've got a secondary eye on the back of that hook that you can tie directly to. You go through the main eye, tie to that back one, and that gets you that full hook set that you need. These are some beefy hooks. This is like what Parrot kind of put through his finger recently. Don't do that. Total for that box, $36. So that's $36 worth of baits. I think I got for 18, 15, something in that range. So at all of these boxes I got between 15 and $20. So that was my reason for buying them. That's a good deal in my opinion. Last box. This one's heavy. I have no idea. I can't I can't remember honestly what I bought. Oh, I remember this box. How could I forget? Look at all of those biospawn baits. Tons of them. This thing is heavy. It's full of plastics, and that's that's what I wanted. So let's just I'm not even gonna use the card here. Valcross 629, plasma tails 529. Um, the bigger plasma tails 549, the exo sticks 599. There we go. Alright, so Let's start going through this one by one. Here is some Valcross. I haven't used actually the Valcross and they were on that list and I said, okay, time to try them. And that is in black, black light. So I'm trying to actually look what kind of color this is. So this is in black light color. The way I would describe it is it's like a very, very dark poured with a purple flake in it. Um, so muddy water, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, some exo sticks. So red bug exo sticks, great color, clear water. This is a perfect color. I will use this and green pumpkin. Those are really my main two clear water colors. Okay, dark water. Here we go. Okeechobee craw exo sticks. It's a blue and green, uh, half blue, half green color. Uh, great for muddy waters. All right, here's a second pack of Alcross. This is called sprayed glass. It's kind of like that color earlier on those exo sticks before. It's a uh, almost like a green pumpkin watermelon type color with a purple and green and a little bit of blue fleck in it. Again, this is a great trailer. I can throw this on its own if I wanted to. You know, Texas rig it. I could shaky head this. That's probably going to be my preferred rig actually is to shaky head this. And uh, this works great as a jig trailer too. This is one of my favorite baits all year long. I really. One of the things that I want to try out this year was I really wanted to get better at drop shotting. I put a lot of time and effort into, into it. I bought a couple rigs and man, I use it a ton. I mean, I earlier this year, especially like on some more pressured lakes or lakes where I wasn't actually going for the big bite, but I was going for quantity. I was using drop shot a ton. Christina, 
fell in love with the drop shot. It was like her new favorite thing. And so my go-to, my go-to drop shot bait was the plasma tail. Four different plasma tails in here. So here's the first one. I actually own these and these are probably my second favorite color. So these are green soda slash, pe slash peach. This is a great, great color, especially for shad imitation, something like that. Number two, and that's the smaller size, that's a four and a half. These are the size that I most commonly drop shot with. Bama Bug. Again, this is kind of like a green pumpkin, a little bit of brown in the mix with a purple blue fleck in it. So, again, a really good color for clear water lakes. Maybe it's dark enough to actually throw in some murky water too. Bigger plasma tails. I love chartreuse tail things. I mean, yeah, they have, these are kind of like a purple and blue uh, flake. This is, okay, it's June bug with a chartreuse tail. So this is a perfect bait for fishing. Some deeper water maybe, throwing this on a heavier drop shot rig. This is another one where I would, I, I would probably consider shaky head this. This could be a wacky rig too if you really want to. I've never tried it, but this is probably my favorite bait that Biospawn makes. A close second is the Exostick. Lastly, green pumpkin chartreuse tail. This bait will catch a ton of fish. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot. My mouth hurts from talking. Uh, I'm gonna dump all this out and show you what I got here. Yeah, that's right. I got all that for, I think about $65. $65. That is easily, that is easily $150 worth of base. You know, that's the kind of deal that you can get out there if you are shopping smartly. And a couple of these baits, sure, I might not have gone out and bought them on my own. But that's the point, is that I want these boxes so I can expand my horizons. I can specifically say that Mystery Tackle Box has expanded my fishing knowledge this year. 100%. That's worth it to me. And if you can't afford the $25 box, don't get it. Get the $15 one. Try it for a couple months. And so I encourage you all to do it. You know, in case you're curious, this is all my tackle. You know, I don't have a ton, but I have a lot. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, I, I know I've got a lot. I've, I've been really fortunate to uh, build this not over one or two or three years. This is a whole lifetime of fishing. And uh, and I've got more too. I still got my bag in the truck because I thought I was gonna go fishing today. That took me a long time to build up that amount of lure, the, that amount of lures. And a big part of the reason why they're actually down in my basement right now is because my goal over the winter is to better organize them. I guess that giant bin behind me here, that thing right there, that. Uh, that's the exact reason why I can't find stuff because I just throw them in a bin like that. I think that's all I've got for you today. If you like this kind of video, let me know. I mean, I do unboxings every once in a while. I'm gonna keep doing the MTB unboxings. Hold on, let me, my arm is starting to get tired. All right, guys, I think that's about it. If you like this type of video, leave a comment below. If you don't like it, let me know what you'd like to see instead. I, again, I'm not the biggest fan of unboxing videos, but I had a lot of stuff today and I really wanted to get through the value that I see in Mystery Tackle Box, Catchco. I think that they can provide you with a lot of lures at a significant discount versus what you would pay for in any store. And they're gonna expand your horizons and get you to fish baits that you've never ever seen or thought about trying before. So I would encourage you to check them out until next time, this is Winnie C.D. Basson, signing out. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, that hurt my finger.